All right, well, that was cool. What's up, everybody? Back on Smith Mountain Lake for the weekend. I'm only an hour into this uh, fishing trip or so. I already got the first fish in the boat. I've been throwing wacky worms around docks for the last, yeah, 45 minutes or so. But I just pulled up on this really steep bank. Uh, we're in, it's not showing right now, but we're in about 25 feet of water here, this close to the bank. It's pretty deep. And made a couple casts down that side with no luck. And then I threw this big old Strike King 6XD crankbait, sexy shad color. Threw it right at the edge of the stock and twitched it a couple times and then actually saw the bass come up and basically grab it right after I twitched it, which is not what you normally do with a crankbait, but in, you know, 10 feet of water right there, right up on the dock, it worked. So one fish in the boat already. Uh, my buddy Josh and his uh, family are going to be heading this way shortly. They're spending the weekend with us here. We're going to see if we can't do some fishing, catch some good fish. I've already seen quite a few striper busting out in deeper water off the ends of docks. So it'd be real cool if we can hook into one of them, but we'll just have to see if we get that lucky. What the? Let's go. Oh no, there goes the worm. 13 ounces, not scorable, but good little fish. <laughs> oh boy, you little rascal. He brought up more weight in freaking dead leaves than he did in him. Second fish I've caught on that worm. All right, that was fish number four in one trip on this lake, which is by far my best uh, number of fish caught in you know a single outing on this lake. Uh, second fish I caught on this worm too, but it's uh, starting to get a little bit. I'll just hook it in a different spot and keep going. It might still work. 
but I am using some new hooks that I got uh, before this trip. These are the VMC Finesse Nico Redline, size number two. Totally bought them because I was watching a video recently and that's those are the hooks that Jacob Wheeler uses for his drop shots. Um, so that's probably what I'll use for drop shotting going forward. Aside from that first one that came on the crankbait, everything has been on uh, wacky worms and all three of them have been weightless. Normally when I throw a wacky rig, I'm throwing it like this. It's a specifically a weighted wacky worm hook and I've caught lots of fish on this lake doing that. But so far, the pattern seems to be that they are all up really shallow. Uh, I think every fish I've caught has been in four feet of water or less. And so I don't need the weight to go, you know, to get the bait down deeper, faster. And so I'm trying throwing wacky worms on a weightless hook, which is something I've never done before, but it's going pretty well so far today. What? No freaking way, dude. There's a school of bass chasing this school of bay fish. I just had a decent one on and he didn't stick with it. He missed. That one didn't. Oh my gosh, he missed it, yeah. That's not, that's not the cast. Kind of forgot how deep all these docks would obviously be. I don't know if this likes to be the play or not. Better off going like all the way to that farther back one. Just wondering about that. All right, well, let's cruise down there. I'm not sure if I've ever gone all the way back in this one and then fished out like the other, the opposite bank. I don't feel like I haven't, but. Ugh. Looks like there might be a good tree in the water over there. Hmm. I didn't even look at water temps. I guess 75. Biggest one of the trip so far. Oh yeah. Don't. 114. Ah. He hit it like the very aggressive, quick, like duh, duh, tap, and I was like, hmm, probably another small one or a bluegill or something, because that's how it was yesterday. But no. Yeah, like maybe three feet of water. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, the transducer says 1.6 right now, which means it's actually a foot or two deeper than that, but not deep. That's how all of them yesterday were too. Almost never throw black and blue in this lake either, but some dark water back here. <laughs> you see that second one with him there's a there's one even there's two of them right behind him dude that are bigger than he is i don't know if there's Still following him or not, but. I like these hooks. Those red line Nikos. <laughs> yeah. told Courtney last night that that's what I was using and she's like did Jacob Wheeler recommend those in that video you watched and I was like he sure did <laughs> nice two eight yeah. two nine holds in two nine let's go it's a good fit huh it's uh might be a wacky worm trip and again even though he wasn't on a dock like maybe three feet of water it's two scoreable fish though i was thinking i might we just end up catching a bunch of small ones if we did this the whole trip fishing shallow I mean, it's pretty stained back here. I broke my PB at one point pretty early on in this lake on, with a black and blue bandito bug on a dock. Probably the only time that I've actually caught anything on black and blue here. I just don't throw it. I, June bug wacky worms has been, I think, my most successful thing next to just deep cranks. What I was trying to do yesterday, and I don't think I caught enough to see if it made a difference but if I was fishing in, as the water kind of darkened up towards the back of the cut that I was in especially if I was on the shady side I would switch to like a green pumpkin and then I would be on something with more flake if I was on the sunny side but the first one I caught it on was one of these this six inch one but the bait fish color where it's like you know dark gray and then pearl white on the bottom like that, that split color, which I've never caught anything on that color before. So I don't know. I've got like 10 different colors of, nice. 10 different colors of worms, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait really? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's like you're just trying to like yank the jig out of the freaking well, I tree. I just cast it over top of it. I didn't know. Like, oh, okay. And I, he like immediately bit it. That's so funny. <laughs> it's impressive that you managed to get him out of there without getting him stuck on a freaking limb. That's too funny. I also don't catch fish off laydowns that much in this lake. At least I haven't in a while. 
More than shave, you know? I just, I mean, I end up doing it a decent amount every time on this lake. I'm like, oh, you go to shoreline, it's got all these lay downs. I'm like, there's no way there's not a fish here and just don't get them. And so, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we can probably get up in there. That is insane. I mean, you're in like inches of water. Yeah. I know, dude. Right there. I know. I saw where you landed. <laughs> like six inches of water. Well, maybe we need to just stop coming up here in the freaking dead of summer and start coming up here a little later in the year. It's just way more pleasant anyway. <laughs> I mean, even when it was like hot yesterday, it wasn't that hot. All things considered. Why don't you go ahead and retie and then throw in the middle of that tree and see if you can get another one. Mm -hmm, there's a stick in my boat. I wonder how that got here. And a spider. You can go in the water. Fish food. Sorry, go ahead. Nope, go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like the smallest gap of anywhere I'm throwing, and I would hit it. <laughs> Solid. Go for it. Like father, like son. <laughs> you hear that, son? Oh my god! <laughs> Just hit everything else. You're hitting everything. Yep. He yeah, pretty much is. The name of the game, it wakes the fish up. Hitter, yeah. Hitter, that's what they call me. How the head is just there. Just the hitter. Yeah, oh, I saw the carp, but that's a bass. That's a good sized bass. Cast straight ahead towards the tree. He's coming right towards the boat now. That's a fish. That was about half the size of the one that was over there, but <laughs> green pumpkin yet again. That's four. That green pumpkin silver? Just no, just just the pumpkin. Bass Pro green pumpkin. Yeah. That's now four on green pumpkin or er, four, four or five. Oh, because yesterday. Yes, because yesterday. I didn't want to say it back there. But I was like, there's no way there's not bass like all down this bank. It's just too perfect. They look cool, don't they? Yeah, they do, but... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Money cast right there. I don't think I have a fish. Nope. They had something. It's like it fell just enough to make it worth it. Go ahead and... Set the hook. I mean, plus, what... It... If I got caught a fish on that cast, I was like... I mean, it kind of feels like it could be reported for that. You know? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dropping dimes into buckets. I mean, that sounds a lot easier than what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how far away the bucket is and how big it is. So. Oh no, come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, by comparison. <laughs> Josh can't even cast next to a dock without getting hung up. He hooked the rope that the floor is tied to, I'm pretty sure. Are you going to lose that fishing pole? Am I going to what? Are you going to lose that fishing pole? Yep, it's, it's lost cause. Just throw it in the lake. <laughs> Ooh, dang it. Almost. No, 
know that knot was in your line to begin with. <sighs> There's gotta be a fish under one of these two dots, right? You're just gonna go blow them up. Well, go throw into that one. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Get his line. I'll take him down. Hmm. The sailboat moved a lot more than our boat did. It's floating. Not suspended. No, it's not. It's not floating. What do you mean it's not floating? It's out of the water. What's out there? Oh, it's not all the way. Well, well, maybe that bottom of the boat. Talking about this boat? Yeah. Is that out the water? Yeah. No, your dad's crazy. <laughs> the, like, center of the hole. Is it? Well, what's a... Well, what are you proposing holding it in the air? It's in a slip. Right? No, it's oh, floating. No, 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 no. Never mind. <laughs> Is that light? Yeah. Okay, I'm crazy. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I was just, I looked down at it and the back of the water was like, it's gonna slip. Very obviously, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. Got got oh, yeah, I saw it. It was a bluegill or something. Oh, it was? Yeah, I think it was. Pretty good size one, but they took my worm. Well, he took the worm because there's no O-ring on these big worms because they're too big, and so and I yanked that hard. It just pulls it straight through. There's, um... There's one cove up towards the up by the state park that I mean you and I have been in there before I think and I was there one time earlier this year. Hello. Hey. Um Lindsay was wondering if you could come back sometime soon and help her get her rod set up so she can fish. She's just kind of dangling string in the water right now. Yep, that's because she got it all tangled and she didn't know. It was it was on the table, and somehow a life vest got put on top of her rod. No, no, and no, it no, got no, all... no, no. She did this last night. Last oh, night it got tangled. Oh, I just caught a fish. Okay. Well, I knew like some stuff got tangled in a life vest, so I didn't know it. <laughs> Uncle Josh got a fish too. Uncle Josh just got a fish too. What? <laughs> All right, well, they, I think they wanted you to come back and fish with them. Okay. All right, love you, bye. Nice. Oh, whoa. About the same size as the one I got, first one. Hey, you spit your worm, but it's still in the boat. Ah, success. Well, I can see the bones. I can see the bones. Well, now Courtney needs my help because they can't get, she can't get the rooster tail out of the mouth of the fish Holly just caught. Okay. Yep, I put a bunch of rocks in there. Mm, that's a good. Right here. He's stuck in the mouth bad. Mom can't get it off. Yeah, he I know. Try to. Josh, come on. Come on, he's a pumpkin. The elusive rare sunfish. Dad, you like the back fins? They're pretty, right? Mm -hmm. He's so pretty. Holly wants to. Do you want to put him back? He's Grab his lip. You. Grab his lip. You got him? Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Oh. Oh. Nice. Hi. No, fix my rod. Okay. Uh, please, maybe? Please. I'll go for Yet you. another phone call from Courtney generates two fish being caught. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't catch one, but like you were, we were on the phone, and then we can hear the girls screaming in the background. Holly's got a fish, and then like oh, well, with, fish and, then Josh and then Josh also got one. The fish liked me, I guess. I guess. I'll just, I'll. Do so you want me to call you more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a wacky worm because that's what we've been catching fish on all Wait, morning. I want to catch a sunfish right now. I'll catch it. I want to catch a bass well, with you on the boat tonight. Fish on something that we've been catching fish on. <laughs> 
Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go out with you on the boat later today. Why would you want to go out on the boat now when we're catching fish? Yeah, yeah that's out? crazy. He just chased it all the way out here off the bank and I stopped it and he came back for it. That was awesome. No, it's a large mouth. He's just kind of pale. Wait, what? Wow, I like that. He does have that striping on his face. It looks kind of like a small mouth. That's the He's got the you think? Hey, oh, and his eyes are red too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that is not all. Nice. Buddy. Well, we got us a small mouth. His mouth's just disproportionately big for the size of his body. For him to be a small mouth. That was my first cast on that too. That was, I hope it shows up on GoPro. I mean, he, I wasn't even looking down. I was just reeling it and I looked down to see him like a foot behind it and I just stopped it and he goes, douche, and just grabs it. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm sitting down to change my worm color and, all right, maybe not then. Wait, Dad, did, what, did you just catch a large mouth? That was ridiculous. Hey, was that a large mouth? Uh, probably. I don't know. Uh. Have a good look in the afternoon. Whoa. Daddy, call it a fishy! I don't know. It's a small mouth. No, it's a large mouth. It's a little one. It's a young one. I was pretty confident that was going to be a bass because there was a little tick and then nothing. And then oh, God, slight pressure and line is just flying I one direction. Okay. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Stop. Stop. Okay. Nope. Hold on. No, I'm good. All right. Throw that way. Okay, but you guys have to hold that. Okay, well, that's how it works, hun. You win the first person in the front. Throat, throat, the person in the front of the boat gets to the dock first, <laughs> and then as we're going past it, you get your shot. Maybe wiggle it how you do. Yeah, I know it doesn't always work. Look, we're here. A great angle is for you to go towards the shore. There have been so many bass that we see up shallow just cruising, and now I'm stuck on. There we go. No, just like on the whole lake. There's gotta be fish off that. <laughs> There's gotta be. Ooh. Oh my god! That's a good one. Oh my gosh! What the heck? That's a big one. Look out. <laughs> nice. That's gotta be. That's a big fish of the trip. That's big fish of the trip. Dad's yep. All right, calm down. Use my scale. <laughs> Put it right back. Oh, you guys are catching all the good fish. Bro, can I touch yeah. him? Lynn's, calm down. Yeah. Come on. Oh, so pretty. Hey. Yeah, you okay. Yeah, well, I guess skinny. he's, he's just got a big old head. He does have a big old head. <laughs> That's my dad. You want to die? I mean that my one this morning was two nine, so that's crazy. Unless it was just my scale being weird. What's his name? Joshy. Yeah. It's good pick. Good fish. You want a picture? Yeah. Okay. So pretty. Talk about calling your shot. <laughs> yeah, There's got to be a fish right there. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, I was, um, I was thinking you would take something like that. Okay. One of these days we'll catch multiple fish in the same spot because that's what I don't yeah. ever do. 
can never get more than one fish out of a spot. All right. That was good. That was great. I love that friggin' fish. Come on. Nothing else better than that. Can this? Whether or not. Yeah, Oh, about the same size. Yeah, it's just about the same size. Hey, that's two fish in one spot. Hey, that is two fish in one spot. <laughs> Can I release him? He's a little smaller. Hey, Here. Okay. No, you gotta grab his lip. Okay. Uh, okay. So make sure he doesn't flop too much. Don't you gotta go. just. I'm not. You gotta just grab him. There you go. <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> What? He hit it like a bluegill. It was like a. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. I was like, well, whatever it is, it's still got it, so I'm just going for it. <laughs> you have fish? Dang. Oh, oh yeah. That's another good one. I know, that's another good one. Let me see if you can get it. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Hey, I'm going back in there. <laughs> hey, you went over my line. Oh, sorry. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> It's your fault for casting towards the front of the boat when you're in the back of the boat. That's true. I was, hey, it's uh, your fault you're trying towards the back of the boat when you're in the front of the boat. Set the hook like backwards. I feel like you're getting better luck here than the James River. Yeah. You haven't caught more fish here because we don't fish as much here. But, bro. Is that another fish? Oh. No! Hey, is that sailboat in the air? Yep. Can confirm, definitely in the air. What's that noise? Josh Weezy. Oh, me Weezy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like an old person watching. It kind of was. Well, I mean, depends on how you look at it, I guess. <laughs>